Here I have a 2018 Hyundai Ionic. I'm very happy with it. It's only two years old and it has only um, 18,000 miles on it. So everything is pretty good with this car except um, the auto defrost. That's the problem I had with it a few times. So I live in Southern California and Southern California it rarely gets cold, it rarely uh, rains, so usually there is no problem. But uh, there was a, a winter early morning, um, about 6 o'clock, I was going to work. Um, there was snow on the mountains, which is a rare sight. It was 50 degrees outside and uh, the auto defrost started coming up, even though there was really not much of an, um, you know, fog um, on the windshield so it turned on by itself and um, I did not like it I want to turn it off because now the AC is on and I cannot heat up the car anymore I mean like my um, heated seats are helpful but it doesn't really help uh, with my feet so um, and also remember this is a 2018 Hyundai Ioniq electric uh, they have only 124 miles uh, on a full charge so now I'm using the AC and the heater and uh, using a lot of um, out of my range and I don't want that. So anyways, I took it to the dealer. The dealer says nothing is wrong with it. Uh, all you need to do is just turn it up all the way and uh, it will heat. Don't worry about it. Well, again, um, it didn't really heat as much just because uh, the heater on electric cars are not as strong and on combustion engine cars so it does not really prevail against the AC so much um, and I pleaded with them I asked them is there any way like we could um, just take that offline or anything you know so it doesn't even work anymore they said no there's no way I said how about the sensor they said no um, we cannot uh, recommend doing that anyways I find out what we can do there's two ways of doing that um, there is your sensor up here by your rear, rear mirror right there um, you could take it out it may give you some electronic problems on your, on your car or you could maybe put a resistor on it to um, make it less sensitive that may actually help I don't know but if you have um, you know warranty on your car which I have like 100,000 miles I would not recommend it because it's probably going to go um, avoid your warranty. So I would go with the second option and the second option would be to actually turn off the auto auto defrost system. Even though uh, they told me that doesn't it doesn't have that option, there is actually an option. Look at this. This is the front uh, windshield defrost. All you have to do, you push it and hold it and look here. You see that? ADS off, auto defrost system off. Um, now, if you do need to defrost your windshield for whatever reason, if you're in a hum more humid area, all you have to do, either you turn on your heat all the way, that's what I like to do, and then put it to up here. Uh, the AC turns on automatically. Um, you could turn it off if you want to, but again, if there's a lot of humidity, maybe it's actually better to have the AC on. And that's possible, or you just go, um, you just leave it the way it was. You just push um, auto defrost. Now it's working, but it's working manually, so it doesn't do it automatically when it wants it to do. You decide when it will have to turn on. So. And then you shut it off again and you're back to normal now if you do that for a few weeks and you don't like it you say you know what I just like the way it used to be all you have to do again push uh, the front windshield defroster for three seconds and hold it and the auto defrost system is back on now it's back to automatic uh, well I like it and manual so I'm gonna push and hold it for three seconds again and here we go all right I hope this was helpful to you um, take care of yourself and God bless you